So we are here at Rafa's garage. Today we're working on the XRS. So we're putting a clock spring. I bought an OEM from Toyota, basically because my cruise control is not working and my airbag light is on. So let's see, so that airbag right there stays on. Hopefully that solves the issue and my cruise control. So first thing first is we're gonna disconnect the battery. Um, and then we have two torques, one right here, another one right here on this side. And then the airbag should come off. And there's a 17 right there. I'm not sure if I have to take out the 17 to take out the steering wheel to get the clock spring, but I know the airbag has to come off for sure. Steering wheel, we still don't know, but just a size 17 or 19. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. So it does seem that we have to take out the steering wheel. Uh, this is the 19, unplug the airbags, um, just unclip them with the screwdriver, pull that up a little bit and then it should come out. And then unplug this because the whole steering wheel is gonna come out. When you do take it off, make sure it's aligned, like make sure it's straight. And when you put it back, it's not crooked. So I'm gonna loosen that bolt up. It's gonna loosen up a little bit and then able to um, pull it out because it is gonna get stuck and that bolt is gonna help me so it doesn't hit me in the face. So everything's off. Just gotta take off a Phillips here, Phillips right here. You also have one right here and this plastic should come off and there should be like two plugs down in here to unplug it. Then the clock spring is just held on by clips, like probably one, two, and three right here, which you just gotta pull out. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. So there it is, both clips right, the both clips right there are plugs. Then you got a clip right here, a clip down here, and a clip down here. That's all that holds it on. Um, this one on the new one, basically, if the steering wheel straight hot, supposed to, it should have a marking right here. These two arrows are supposed to be aligned to each other, um, and it's supposed to be five turns. So if you're gonna use one, basically, it's able to rotate five turns. So basically, to have it in the middle, you're gonna have two and a half turns going this way that's going to be your center and then you're going to be able to go two and a half the other way so if you don't if you don't know just twist it until it gets a little hard that's basically at the end just go back two and a half until you're up here and then you should be straight on this new one it should be already set because it's brand new that's the reason why it has this so it won't move anywhere so once i break that or take that off then i could put the new one and it's already in the middle so that's what i'm gonna do real quick so so there it is i put the clock spring and everything back together steering wheel airbag I almost forgot to put this, but if you do, you can still put it on. You just gotta mess around with the steering wheel a little bit. You're able to get the bolts um, or the screws. Um, when you tighten it, you do have to lock it up. That's why when I locked it locked up, it was already almost upside down. But since I already aligned it, it should be fine. Now all I gotta do is connect the battery and go for a test drive and see if the light turn keeps staying on oh. 
Moment of truth. Let's see, the light still stays on. Oops. There you go. Airbags is off. That was the issue. Usually, it, it's always a clock spring. Um, now to do the cruise control, I'm gonna go for a test drive real quick. Um, the way you know is cruise control is on, but when you set it, it doesn't wanna, you know, set. It doesn't stay at the speed. It just keeps going down. So I'm gonna try it out real now, uh, real quick. Go for a test drive. Try to cruise it at 30, 40 on the street. See if it works. If it gauges, I'm good. If I don't, then I gotta figure out what's the issue. But most likely, it is the clock screen. So I think I might have found my uh, cruise control problem. Oh, um, let's go down under here. Basically, this one right here is your brake. So this was this was working perfectly fine. So when you have cruise control and you press the brake, um, it should disengage. Also, when you do the clutch, which on this one, also when you do the clutch, which this one's the clutch right here, I had to turn on the light. This one's not really engaging it and putting it back in. Um, that bottom one over there is when you turn it on. So you press it off. I think this one is when you're on cruise control if you put it the clutch and it will disengage it also so it always thinks that the clutch is out so that's probably why it's never engaging it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna loosen up that bolt uh that nut right there and then push it in a little bit and then it should engage and push it in so there it is i was able to push it in move it adjust it now does get pushed in so let's see if it actually works now and go for a test run. hopefully that's my problem sometimes it's just a simple solution mechanics will charge you an arm and a leg for this shit oh yeah we replaced they'll charge you for part they'll charge you for labor and it just needs an adjustment so let's check it out get on the main street is fixed now let's go do a little pull for the victory <laughs> 